What's going on everyone? It's Phil from Millennial Money Gains and we are back with another video. So today we are going to be doing a live portfolio update along with some live trading. That way you guys know exactly what I'm buying, exactly what I'm selling, and the moves I am making with my portfolio. Just as a little disclaimer, make sure you do your own due diligence. I am not a financial advisor. I am not your financial advisor. So please make sure you do not just follow what I am doing. Make sure you do your own research and everything will be all good. Don't invest any money. You cannot afford to lose. Investing is a gam is not a gamble, but it is a risk. And please make sure that you know that. So I apologize for not posting on Sunday. I wanted to intend on getting another video out. But as you can tell by my voice, I'm a little feeling under the weather. I'm all right though. I will try to get that video out as soon as possible. That video will be on HCAC which is another SPAC. You guys know how much I'm big on these SPACs. And we will actually be buying some of that today. So, if you're interested, I will leave a link to that video once it pulls up in this video below. As well as leaving links to LCA, my LCA stock analysis video, my FMCI stock analysis video, and my SPAQ stock analysis video. If you guys want some basic due diligence, just go make sure you go check that, those videos out. That can only mean one thing, and that means we will be getting started with this portfolio update. So, please, before we do, just hit smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Best said by Graham Stephan. Graham Stephan does it the best. Big fan. Huge shout out to you. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. That way, you can get notified every time I post a video. We will be doing stock analysis, portfolio updates, and just basic finance. So, if you're interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now, let's hop right into the portfolio. All right, guys, so we're pulling up the portfolio here as we are doing another live trading day for you. So, my account is currently sitting at $22,904.90. We're down a little bit in the pre-market here, about $85. In the past week, I'm up almost $3,000, which is a little above 14%. In the past month, I'm having a great month. I'm up oh just under $6,000, which is about 33%. past three months, I'm up about thirty four fifty, which is just under 18%. And past year, I'm up $5,500, just under 32%. And all time, I am up 50, almost $5,500 at 31.5%. So starting off the market a little red here today. I have $14.92 worth of buying power, which will change in a little bit. I will show you what my plan is for today. So, last video you guys saw, my account was at just above 20000 or just below 20000 And so this week we are almost at 23000 So, getting right into my plays here. I have one call option on MVIS. So, you guys know I had a big position MVIS. And then it sold off. I sold at a profit. And it's continued to sell off. But I believe big things in this company. So I just have one call option that's expiring in February. Hopping into my first shareholder here, I have AGNC Investment. I just got a monthly dividend of $30 last week. I have 250 shares at $14.02, which is a market value of $3,655. Next, we have LCA, Lancadia Holdings. So I actually sold this yesterday on the dip. Or going into a dip, and then I rebought when it got lower. So I'm up about $176 on this this time since yesterday. Minus $56 today. I have 400 shares, almost $7,000 in equity. But overall, LCA has been pretty good for me. Next, you know I have for a merger too, FMCI, which is Tattooed Chef. I have a total of almost 428 shares. I put a stop loss sitting at $22, just in case we're sitting at $24.38. Total return on this is $3,500, which is just over 50%. I have a market value of $10,000. Next, I bought back into SPAC last week, SPAQ. So we bought 97 shares, sitting at almost $2,000 market value. Total return is $323.80 which is about 24%. So SPAC did pretty well last week. My average cost there is $13. So what are we buying today? Next thing we are buying is HCAC. 
I will post a video about that. Why I'm buying into them in a little while here. So you can know exactly why. But first, I need to sell something. So I will be sell selling my whole position A, G, and C. I just think I could really make better profit somewhere else. So I have $100 there profit total. We'll sell all of that. Plus the dividend I got. So now we'll buy into some HCAC. Let's see. So we're sitting at $12.91. We will buy in shares. And we will buy, let's see, 200 shares here. So that seems about right. We will do that. All right. Order received. Perfect. Now we will buy a couple more shares of FMCI. Very bullish on this stock. And it's taking a little dip here. So we'll just buy about 10 more shares of this. Just to add some meat to the bones here. So we will get about, we will have over 430 shares now, I believe. So very happy about that. So yeah, guys, that is all the trading I'm doing for today. I will be making more trades in the future. This is my weekly portfolio update. You guys can see it weekly. I wanted to try to trade some options on SPAQ that's coming out today. So I will probably trade some options on it today. I'll buy some calls as I try to delve into options tradings. Robinhood's a little slow, but we will get to it. I'm expecting big things from SPAQ, as I said in my last video. So if you guys want to buy the call options like I'm doing, you guys know what it is. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. So market's open here. We're down three hundred dollars so far but same thing happened last week and then we went up we had a nice thousand dollar day so hopefully we can have the same thing this time the first half hour of the market is always a little sketchy as it's very volatile and unpredictable but we will see how it goes all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that portfolio update i know you saw me to buy some things and sell some things so i sold the ag and c just to cap recap I bought some HCAC, and I bought some more of FMCI. You guys know I'm bullish on all of those. Like I said, I will have links to all their stock analysis down below in the description. Make sure you do your own due diligence. You can start with my videos. Good platform here. But, once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I just show you why I am buying this myself, and what I buy myself. So, once again, please, if you enjoyed, smash that like button. Try to get this out to everyone you know. Doing a weekly thing here. Stock market trading live here every week. I will see you guys in the next video. Which will be a portfolio review and a stock review on HCAC. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.